the 48 laws of power and how it is used in numerous occasions in the godfather but before i'm going to discuss how the 48 laws help you to gain power in various situations whether it's in business relationships or everyday interactions by learning and applying these laws you can gain insight into human behavior and use that knowledge to your advantage now it's not about being manipulative or ruthless it it's been about strategic and understanding how to navigate different social and professional environments effectively ultimately mastering these laws can help you assert yourself build influence and achieve your goals efficiently now we don't recommend you try to implement all of them otherwise you'll end up like Kanye instead master two or three relevant powers to your lifestyle or personality as Bruce Lee said I fear not the man who practiced 10,000 kick once but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times don't readjust your personality fit to fit the laws instead explore at which law you feel you're good at and build upon these now we're going to explore how the principle from the 48 laws of power play out in the action-packed drama the godfather movie these laws are like secret codes basically to understand how powerful people operate there's basically eight examples we're going to cover but watching these but watching how the characters in the godfather use this law you'll see how they navigate tricky situations as smart their rivals and build the empire it's like a crash course in power dynamics with the Corleone family as our guide so let's dive in and see how they wield the power like pros so basically the first law of power is the first one law number one which is never outshine the master now basically in the godfather michael Corleone learns this lesson from his father vito Corleone who's a patriarch of the Corleone family and Michael understands that to rise within the organization he must oh, not overshadow his father's authority despite having his own ambitions Michael remains loyal and respectful to his father he never challenges him or shines him in any circumstance until the appropriate time next is law 15 crush your enemy totally this law is evident throughout the godfather particularly in the ruthless strategy strategies employed by the corleone family when their enemies pose as a threat they don't merely defeat them they completely annihilate them for instance when the corleone when the corleones face off against their rival families they don't settle for temporary truces or compromises they aim to eliminate their adversaries entirely to prevent future threats this is seen in one of the laws that's played out law number 27 play on people's needs to believe to create a cult like following vito corleone embodies his this law with his charismatic leadership style he cultivates a sense of loyalty and devotion amongst the followers by basically appearing to to their desires for protection security and belonging so they need vito basically he provides those who are loyal to him creating a sense of indebtedness and allegiance these loyalties extends beyond fear it becomes a deep sense seated belief that's why you see loads of different people coming to Vito Corleone for help so he's basically creating a cult like following we see this definitely at the start where the guests meet Vito Corleone Lord number 28 enter action with boldness now michael corleone demonstrates this law when he seizes the opportunity to eliminate his family's enemies during the baptism scene with boldness and decisiveness he orchestrates a series of assassinations while public appearing to participate in a religious ceremony this bold action solidifies his power and sends a clear message to his enemies about his ruthlessness and willingness to take decisive action these examples from the godfather illustrates how principles outlined in the 48 laws of power are reflected in the actions and strategies of the characters within the film series law number two which is quite important never put too much trust in friends and learn how to use your enemies this law is evident in the corleone's family's approach when approached to alliances and rivalries while they maintain close relationships with their inner circles they are always cautionary not to put too much 
trust in anyone, including friends and family members. They understand importance of leverage and often exploit their enemies, weaknesses and to their advantage. For example, they may form a temporary alliances with rival families to achieve common goals but remain vigilant of potential betrayals. Law number five, so much depends on reputation, guard it with your life. Reputation is paramount in the God, both the Godfather and in the laws of the 48 powers. Vito Corleone meticulously guards his reputation as a man of honor and integrity within, crim within the criminal underworld. He does understand that his reputation precedes him and commands respect and fear from allies and enemies alike. Similarly, Michael Corleone's reputation as a calculating and ruthless leader earns him respect and solidifies his position as the head of the family. Law number 16, use absence to increase respect and honor. Vito Corleone, he masters is this law by strategic withdrawing from certain conflicts and negotiations, thereby increasing his perceived importance and power by being selective about when and where he asserts himself. He enhances his, this mystic and reinforces, reinforces the notion that his, this, his presence carries significant weight. This tactic not only increases respect from allies but also makes enemies think twice before crossing him. Law number 33, discover each man's thumbscrew. Let me go through an example where Solotso exploited very well. Vito Corleone in the meeting mentioned to Solotso his, his stance on the drug trade. However, Sonny briefly interrupts, which showed his weakness and his greed. Solotso then uncovered a plan to take Vito out to deal with Sonny directly because he knew Sonny would be the next in line to reign the, the Corleone family and participate in their drug trade. These additional examples of outline from the Godfather illustrate how the laws of power by Robert Greene are intricately woven into the fabrics of the film series guiding the actions and the decisions of its characters as they navigate the complex dynamics of power and influence mastering the 48 laws of power is unlock is like unlocking a secret manual to navigate life's challenges and opportunities by understanding these laws and how they shape human interactions you're basically going to gain valuable insights uh, into how to assert yourself influence others and achieve your goals effectively whether that's going to be in your personal relationships, professional endeavors, or basically just in your everyday interactions. If you apply these laws, they can help you to navigate complex social dynamics, make better decisions, and ultimately enhance your success and fulfillment in life. If you've gained anything from this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if there's anything else you'd like to be put out, then again, please leave a comment below. And I'll appreciate it if you subscribe to support our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.